Hi, um, I hope that uh, now the, the image is better, the sound is better. Let us repeat this uh, World Shopper uh, Trends live session. Uh, it's important to have a uh, good image and, uh, and uh, uh, good sound. Let's hope that everything is correct now. So, in this session we will talk about the Jeep e-bike, the electric bike from Jeep. It's this one here. Uh, we will talk about the coronavirus threat to motor shows, the jeans, uh, the Geneva Motor Show cancellation and how to turn this uh, huge problem into an opportunity. Um, let us talk also about new charging system conceived to people who do not have uh, a home charging solution. Um, and let us see some details about the new Fiat 500e, um, uh, a very interesting uh, new car from, from Fiat, new electric car from Fiat. So, beginning with the, the GP bike. At uh, World Shopper uh, Conference 2019, uh, we've talked about this, this thing uh, that uh, OEMs should look into other types of cars, of urban cars, um, not only cars but other vehicles. Um, when, when, we, when we did the, the electric mission project for Kia Motors Europe in uh, February 2019, uh, we've traveled in the northern of Europe and we saw how people are increasingly using e-bikes, uh, cargo e-bikes for instance, uh, for replacing their cars. And that, that, that it is, is because e-bikes are very pleasant to use in city environments, are very easy to use in, uh, in cities, in urban, in urban areas. They allow some kind of exercise, some uh, light exercise. Um, they, are, they, are, they have cargo capacity for, for shopping or, or for taking the kids. Um, and they reduce pollution and, and, and are very well received by the society, are very well perceived and accepted by the society. So, the idea is that OAM uh, carry, uh, that, that they, they should carry their powerful brand image uh, like uh, Jeep did with this uh, uh, e-bike. Let us put here um, uh, a video uh, of Super Bowl where uh, Jeep has, uh, um, has done a little bit sneak preview of this, uh, of this electric bike. So, um, OEMs should carry their, their powerful brand image into this segment of, uh, of electric bikes. And even their, their technical expertise because they have a technical expertise and they could improve even more these, these, these vehicles. Um, these vehicles, these e-bikes should not be seen as accessories as it was the case as, as, uh, till here, but they should be seen as truly uh, electric vehicles that are important uh, for the range of the, the OEM and um, the e-bike should be positioned and aligned with the, with the brand positioning of, 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 of the, the OEM, like in this case that it's very rugged, this uh, e-bike this e from, from Jeep, like the cars, and the dealer's network should not only sell the vehicles, but they should repair the vehicles. This is very important because we have seen in the case of the e-bike from Smart, from Mercedes-Benz, it was quite difficult to have a service in a dealer uh, related with that uh, with that e-bike. So this this must be a, a, a very good experience for the end users, and they have the, they have to have the sensation that that vehicle is truly a vehicle of of the brand. So uh, of course that e-bikes do not cover all the mobility needs of urban dwellers, especially uh, people that. Uh, do some, uh, some uh, travel uh, in suburban areas, uh, but the e-bikes the, 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 the e is 
could be a way of OEMs keep producing uh, an emotional vehicle uh, that makes more sense mm, to own, uh, makes more sense to have an e-bike, to buy an e-bike, instead of an urban car. An urban car, an urban car makes increasingly more, uh, uh, more, more sense in terms of sharing. Uh, an e-bike is not the same. It is something that can be more emotional and can be can be uh, bought by the customers. So um, let us see another another team uh, about uh, this uh, cancellation of uh, mot the motor show of Geneva, the Geneva Motor Show, a very famous um, uh, motor show, very interesting. Uh, I've been there for several years. I know very well this this uh, this event and uh, it was it was a shame it was a pity that this year it was impossible to 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 be there but the thing is we could see this this problem this huge problem as an opportunity let, let us let us think something motor shows are clearly looking for new concepts because they are losing ground to internet they are losing ground for exclusive brand events uh, motor shows uh, are clearly mm, looking for new new concepts and uh, um, having mobility events like uh, Paris uh, in 2018 and uh, in IA 2019 there was a mobility event that doesn't bring good results they don't see good results of, of uh, putting mobility events inside the, the motor shows um, I, I would say that uh, motor shows would gain uh, with a stronger digital presence and we can see here in, um, in, in Geneva we saw many presentations here is uh, Jürgen Stackmann from uh, Volkswagen AG uh, presenting uh, the, the, Volkswagen, the Volkswagen cars that uh, should be uh, be exposed in Geneva uh, they are they are um, expo uh, he is presenting them from from uh, from Germany but this is quite effective is much much better than than a regular press conference uh, the press conference in, 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 in the Geneva Motor Show is always the same. 15 minutes and everybody is going from one brand to the other and trying to cover everything. This is much more informative, much more uh, easy to follow, uh, much more interesting than, than the press conferences of, of, uh, of typical motor shows. So, um, motor shows would gain with a stronger digital presence. And I think that with this cancellation, this became even more obvious it's not only about online uh, press conferences imagine if uh, we have uh, um, the possibility of doing virtual um, uh, tours virtual reality tours in showroom seeing the cars uh, inside seeing the technology inside this is possible nowadays with virtual reality of Paris, Frankfurt, Detroit, uh, Beijing, uh, uh, Tokyo, uh, it could be uh, an added value. I, I, I really don't see the motor shows to disappear because I think that the physical uh, contact uh, uh, in metal is important to, to, to perceive the reality of the cars. But if motor shows uh, could have a more a stronger digital presence, uh, it will be much more valuable valuable for the investments of OEMs and perhaps OEMs will uh, keep in their interest in, uh, in motor shows. So, uh, let us talk about uh, new charging systems conceived to people that do not have home charging. Uh, some months ago we talked about uh, UB3 City, a German company that is uh, mm, a retrofitting charging points in, um, in streetlights. 
um, to provide a convenient uh, energy source for users that do not have a parking space and a garage to um, have a wall box, for instance. Um, uh, this is it's, this is quite interesting. This is a, a, a very interesting concept. But today I'm going to speak about Watson. Watson is a, a Spanish spa startup that wants to provide a mobile charging service in Madrid, Barcelona, and Lisboa. And um, uh, the, the, this is basically uh, a power bank that is transported in an electric van. Uh, to where the car is and it provides a um, rapid charge of up to 50 kilowatts uh, to the car. Meanwhile, the, the user can be in a meeting, can be working, can be uh, whatever. So it's, it's, it's like bringing the charger to where we do not have chargers. The, the concept is very interesting. The prices are very competitive. They speak about uh, uh, 20 euros per uh, one hour. Um, or um, 30 euros for two hours and a subscri uh, subscription system is available for uh, um, with eight hours per month for 110 euros. It's quite interesting. I have lots of questions to do. Uh, I would like more information about this, this system. Uh, they do not... Uh, I can't find many information, technical information about it. I have questions but the concept is truly, truly very interesting. So, um, let us see, uh, let us talk a little bit about this car, uh, this, uh, this new Fiat 500e, uh, the first 100% electric uh, Fiat in Europe, because it was uh, in USA we had a Fiat 500 electric, um, but uh, this is this is a, a strange uh, car because this 500e is very similar to the current uh, Fiat 500, but it's a totally new platform. It's a totally new car. So we will have this Fiat 500e uh, sold. Uh, at the same time at the today's Fiat uh, 500 in petrol versions. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a very interesting car because it's um, a BEV uh, with a, a cabrio, it has a cabrio version with four seats and it is one of the first, I, I, would, I would say this is the only four-seat BEV that is Cabrio at the moment uh, in the market. And uh, it has, it announces a range of 320 kilometers, which is quite good for an A-segment car. Um, with uh, 42 kilowatts per hour, kilowatts hour battery, um, this uh, this battery can charge can charge at 85 kilowatts, which is quite good, and it allows, for instance, that we can uh, recover 50 kilometer kilometers of range in five minutes. Means it's quite quite interesting. Uh, and this car is, is, is sold with an easy wall box of uh, 7.4 kilowatts uh, hour. So, um, this is a very interesting proposition. We will know more details in, in the next days and we will talk about this. So, thank you very much for following. Uh, this was the second try of uh, this uh, live stream. Uh, let us see if uh, everything uh, went good this time and if not, the next time will will be better thank you for following thanks thank you for seeing see you